Product finding is one of the most important tasks that we have when running our dropshipping businesses and that is because if we are not selling the right products then no one is going to buy them, we will not be making enough sales and profit and that is not what we are here to do. That's why in this video I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite product research methods using Amazon's best sellers. I'll show you how you can dive deep down into that category and find products that will sell on your dropshipping stores. So quick intro and let's go. What's up everybody, hope you're all having a wonderful day today. My name is Luan from AutoDS, I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to find best selling products for your dropshipping stores using Amazon's best sellers. Now, you may ask yourself, how can I find products using something so vast, so general? If we look here at Amazon's best sellers, you can see that we have gift cards, which we cannot dropship, electronics, which we can, but not these products that are copyrighted and trademarked, Camera and photo products here, also not relevant. These are featured, these are trademark products. Video games we cannot drop ship. So how exactly are we going to find those products and how will we know that it is going to sell, that these products are the right ones for our stores? We're going to get into all of that in just one minute. One second before that, if you are new to our YouTube channel, this is the part where you need to subscribe to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the dropshipping world when it comes to product finding, suppliers, marketplaces, features, content, and so much more that we have going on. So stay tuned, check out this video. We have a lot to go over and a lot to learn. So Amazon's best sellers. So here we are on the page and as I just showed you guys, these products we cannot dropship, so how are we going to get to the right ones? So I want to talk to you guys about the best dropshipping categories that we can use inside Amazon's best sellers, and this will help us dive deep down inside these categories and their subcategories to finally find those products that will sell on our stores. As you see here, there's a whole bunch of categories on the left side on Amazon's best sellers. And if you guys don't know where Amazon's best sellers is, just go to Amazon's main page. And here on their top bar, you have a best sellers link. Simply click on that and you'll get to this page. As I said, on the left side, we have all of the categories that we can use. All of these categories have Amazon best sellers products inside, but which ones are relevant? So I'm going to switch really quick to our blog post about Amazon's best sellers. Everything that I'm talking about in this video is right under this video. Check out the link, you'll go straight to the blog and you can see everything that I'm talking about in this video, but do stay tuned because I do have more valuable information in this video. So which categories are relevant for dropshipping? Here's the list from Amazon's best sellers that are relevant. We got arts, crafts and sewing, automotive, baby products, beauty and personal care. Let me go back one second. In automotive, we're not selling cars, we're not dropshipping cars, but we're definitely dropshipping car parts and accessories. That is wonderful for the dropshipping business model. Let's go on. Cell phones and accessories. So we don't want to dropship cell phones. Most of them are trademark copyrighted and reselling things like cell phones is not always our smartest move as dropshippers. I have never dropped a pay phone because I saw what happens to other dropshippers. Let me get to that in a minute. Clothing, shoes and jewelry, computer accessories. And here, same thing as cell phones and same thing as automotive. We're not going to dropship computers. Now, here is something that you can do. You can dropship computers, but I've seen what happens to other dropshippers who have tried to dropship computers. There is a high profit margin when you're doing something like that but on the other hand customers want to have more than just a 30-day warranty which is what we give on most of our e-commerce stores usually they would want to have a one to three year warranty which is something that the manufacturer usually gives now i've also seen scenarios where customers are opening returns on computers and inside the return package they put an older laptop and then they're trying to get a refund for the new laptop that they bought so i've seen these things happening and they usually happen when people are trying to drop ship things like computers. So stay out of those things, but computer accessories is definitely a yes. Like gaming accessories, mouse, keyboards, mouse pads, speakers, and any other accessory that you can think of fits the computer accessories niche. And it is a very well selling category. Electronics, handmade products, health and household products, home and kitchen, industrial and scientific. Now, do be careful in industrial and scientific if you are dropshipping on eBay because on really heavy commercial products, eBay takes an insertion fee, which is around $20 if I'm not mistaken for just listing that item. So pay attention to that. More relevant categories in Amazon's new releases are kitchen and dining, 
Musical instruments, which once again, if you're dropshipping on eBay, there's a very low fee for selling in that category, very low final value fee or transaction fee, if you would like to call it that. So I love that category. Office products, patio lawn and garden, pet supplies, not pets of course, sports and outdoors, tools and home improvement, and toys and games. So all of these categories are relevant and we can see them here on the left side along with the irrelevant categories. So let's stick to what's relevant and let's begin with the product finding method. So let's say I wanna choose one of those categories, any category that matches the dropshipping business model. For example, let's go with patio, lawn and garden. So now I wanna choose a product to sell, but going into one category is not going to do the work enough for us. We need to dive down deeper and deeper and really find that product that will sell well for us. As you see here, the products do not really relate to one another. They're not under the same category, even though they all belong to the patio, lawn and garden category. So let's break it down even some more. Check out on the left side, you have all of the subcategories inside patio, lawn and garden. Let's break this one down some more. Let's go with outdoor storage. Now, as you see here, we have outdoor storage products all under patio, lawn and garden but we can still break it down even more and as long as you can break down the products more go ahead and do that that's how you're going to find your secret gems so let's continue we got carports deck boxes garden houses storage benches storage sheds and tiny house kits let's go with storage benches okay so there is no more subcategory after this as you see here on the left side so we're pretty much done diving deep into the patio lawn and garden category and these are the results that we have so how can we find our best selling product here well first of all what is amazon's best sellers all of these products are products that have been proven to sell well and got good reviews so so as you see here these products are selling well you can see by the number of reviews and if you in and even if you don't have a lot of reviews, it may be a variation of something that did get a lot of good reviews. But either way, all of these products have been proven to sell, proven to work, and you can definitely use them to take this product and sell it on your dropshipping stores, but also look for similar products to these ones that are selling. That's how you're really going to find your secret gem. Okay, so let's say we wanna start with this product. Now, as you see, we're talking about medium to high price ranges, so there's a lot of good profit to be had here. First of all, as you can see, we have an import to AutoDS button, so as long as you have the AutoDS extension installed, you can quickly import products in just one click. So if I just click on this, it's already being added to the drafts page of my store, of my dropshipping store. And in just a couple of seconds, it'll be on my drafts page, but that's not what I wanted to show you. So let's say we wanna take this product as an example. So what we will do first is add it to our store, which is what I just did. But I also wanna find other products that are similar to this one. And that is where I'm going to find my secret gem. So I know that this product is selling well, it's on Amazon's best sellers, and I got into it by diving deep down into the categories. So one way to do that is to check out other suppliers and see what they are selling. The other way to do it is to see what Amazon is also selling under this niche. So here we're looking at wood console table. These are the strong keywords for this product. And let's also add storage bench so i know that this product is a good seller but i want to find those that are similar one that other drop shippers have maybe not have their eyes on yet and we will be one of the first to sell that but it's not always a game of seeing who's first i've seen many drop shippers and a lot of drop shippers who are also copying my products and not always looking for their own products that are similar to the ones that are selling, but that's fine, that's all a part of the game. At the end of the day, you want dropshippers to copy from you instead of you copying from others. That will make you the head of the fox instead of being the tail of the tiger, and that is what I definitely suggest here. So let's go back to where we were. Wood console table storage bench. We know that this is the product where we came from, and we know that this one is actually going pretty well. It's selling pretty well. So what I'm going to do is add all of these products to my store, and this way I can check which products are going to sell well for me. And I know that I will have a very high chance of selling them because I got it from the main product that is selling really, really well. So let's say I wanted to add all of these products to my store. Instead of using that one click importer, which will just do it one by one, I wanna save more time than that. What you wanna do is click on the AutoDS extension as you see down here. Again, you need the AutoDS helper for that. So search on Google for AutoDS helper and you will get to our extension page download and install it, and then you'll have the extension here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on extract. Now all of the 70 products that I have on this page, all of these wood storage benches have been imported into this little extension. What I'm going to do now is click on export as CSV. Any CSV file was just downloaded onto my computer. Now I'm going to head over to the AutoDS platform, click on add products, upload CSV. 
Here I'm going to drag and drop that CSV file that was just downloaded from the extension. And file is uploaded. So all of those 70 products in just a few seconds will now be on my dropshipping store. This is a great way to save a lot of time when you're importing products to your store. So remember that. So that is one way of finding a good selling product and seeing what other products I can see or I can add to my store that are similar to the one that is selling well. Now, if you rinse and repeat this same method that I just showed you for more and more products, I guarantee that you will start seeing your success. The more products that you test, the more results that you will see. But as long as you know how to increase the chances of selling your products, that way you're going to get the sales much faster. You're going to be able to test and analyze the market much faster and things will work much smoother this way. Another way to find similar products to those that are selling is by searching other suppliers. Now, quick reminder, AutoDS supports over 25 suppliers. This means that you have a reach to tens and millions of products. As you see here, all of these suppliers, you can use each and every one of them. I just showed you one small example from Amazon, but let's go for example for another supplier, like any one of them, it really doesn't matter, AliExpress. So one more example, AliExpress, I'm going to head over to this supplier and I'm going to search for wood storage bench. And here I'm going to get more results for that best selling product that I was looking for. So some are not going to be relevant like this folding table over here, but keep going on with your search and you will find those that are relevant and even cheaper than what we saw using the other supplier like this bamboo wooden shoe bench over here, but it can also be an indoor or outdoor storage bench and it only costs $47 as opposed to the 100 and something dollars that we saw on Amazon. Of course, it's not the same product, but you don't want the same exact product one by one. You want other products that are similar to that bestseller that you just saw. So let's just take one more example. Let's say wooden storage benches is not what we want to go for. Let's go back to Amazon's bestsellers. So we already tried one niche. We uploaded at least, let's say we imported at least 20 products. If you don't try at least 20 products from one product line, you won't be able to test and analyze the market correctly. So this time let's go to another category. Let's go with home and kitchen and start breaking this one down. So inside home and kitchen, let's go with kitchen and dining. And inside kitchen and dining, let's go with storage and organization. I just love these categories when it comes to drop shipping. I'm personally drop shipping a lot from these specific categories. And inside storage and organization, we can even break that down some more. So we are going to do that. Let's go with food storage. This should be the last one and it isn't. So let's break this one down even some more. This is going to help us get more and more to that secret hidden gem. And this is the best way to conduct product research. If you ask me, remember guys, there's multiple methods for product research and I'm sharing all of them on our channel and on our blog pages. Let's keep going on with this one until we find the right one. Let's go with food containers. Okay, and this one can even be broken down some more and that is exactly what we're going to do. Because once we find a good sub niche like cereal containers or coffee containers, if you try, let's say two or three sub niches inside this category, then you'll know exactly which one is going to work well for you. If you try only one, let's say one product inside one category, you can pretty much believe it that you're not going to get any positive results. So let's go ahead and break this one to just container sets. Okay, so we're done breaking this one down. Let's see what products are selling here. As you can see, 22,000 reviews for this product and not every customer leaves a review so you can get a nice estimate on how much this product is selling. These food storage containers seem to be selling a lot. This is something that I would wanna go for. And instead of just adding this product here from Amazon, as I showed you guys before, we're going to search for the similar product using other suppliers. So in this case, we're talking about airtight food storage container set. Those are the strong keywords that best describe this product. So I'm going to copy that text and I'm going to search on any other supplier. So let's go back to AutoDS's supplier list and let's see where we can go for. Let's go this time with Target. Another thing I wanna remind you guys is every US supplier that you use on AutoDS that is supported by AutoDS, you can automate your orders or better yet, AutoDS can automate 100% of your orders and your returns for US suppliers in USD currency. So it's not just Amazon and, or AliExpress anymore, it's every US supplier that can charge with a USD currency. So that is great. You don't need to have any accounts at any one of these suppliers. Don't worry about credit line at the bank. Don't worry about getting locked accounts or anything like that. AutoDS takes care of everything and you just need to add the right products to your store that will sell. AutoDS will take care of the rest. Okay, so let's take a look at Target and we're going to use those keywords that we used. Airtight food storage container set. So we got 233 results at Target. Let's see the results. Okay, and here they are. This is exactly what we're searching for. 
And here we can simply find them in different variations than what we saw using other suppliers. It's always good to work with multiple suppliers and this is one of the reasons why. So what I can do here is once again add all of these products or add them one by one using this extension as you see here. So you can use the one click importer from the outside or from the inside of the product page. Or of course, again, I can use the AutoDS extractor or the AutoDS helper to extract these products. These are the Amazon ASIN, so I'm going to click on delete. Then I'm going to click on extract. And now I've got all of the product IDs from Target inside this little extension. Same process as before, export as CSV and then import that CSV into the add product section of AutoDS. Guys, it's that simple, it's that easy, I can't stress that out enough. But what we're here to do is see how we can find the best selling products inside the best sellers. So once again, the steps are to go to Amazon's best sellers, see what categories are relevant for dropshipping. We have them on the blog using the link below. Then you can break down the right categories, get to the right sub 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 niche until you get to the final niche or sub category. And from there, find a good selling product and look for similar products to that using different suppliers. Test at least 20 different products from each product line and you will see the success start to roll in slowly but surely. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video on how to find best selling products using Amazon's best sellers, one of my personal favorite places to find them. I find a lot of my personal products on my dropshipping store from here and we've got a lot more methods coming up. So always stay tuned on our blog page, on our YouTube channel and on our Facebook community if you want to chat with more dropshippers who are in the same level as yourselves. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the future videos and good luck with your product finding.